in this video i will show you another example of general clipper circuit for the following general clipper draw the output waveform see this is our given circuit we have to draw the output waveform for the given clipper circuit in this circuit we have to tell two general diodes z1 and z2 z1 has general breakdown voltage or general voltage equal to 5 volt z2 has general voltage vz2 equal to 7 volt for this circuit analysis we will assume the built-in potential of the generator is equal to 0 0.8 volt here we will take the output across this terminal to this terminal here we are applying a sinusoidal voltage with positive peak plus 20 negative peak minus 20 volt so at first let me indicate the regions and show you how the circuit behaves in different regions of the input voltage consider the positive half cycle during positive half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative the positive terminal of the applied voltage will be connected with the inside of z2 p side of z1 negative terminal will get connected with the inside of z1 p side of z2 as a result i can say input is trying to put the diode d1 in forward bias and z2 in reverse bias during positive half cycle now you will see now consider the input is changing gradually let's say when vi is equal to 0 0.8 volt when vi will be equal to 0 0.8 or vi greater than or equal to 0 0.8 volt you will see vi will put z1 in forward bias when general diode z1 will be in forward bias from the constant voltage drop model we know that when a diode is in forward bias we can replace it with a voltage source of 0 0.8 volt or i can replace the general diode z1 with a voltage source of 0 0.8 volt that means during the forward bias of z1 it will maintain a constant voltage of 0 0.8 volt between these two terminals now see in this region z1 will be in forward bias as z1 will be in forward bias in this region therefore we will get 0 0.8 volt between these two terminals now see z2 and z1 are connected in parallel because of this 0 0.8 volt our general diode z2 will never get sufficient voltage to operate in the general breakdown region as a result there will be no current flow through the general diode z2 during this positive half cycle so i can say that in this region z2 will be in off state now see when vi will be less than 0 0.8 volt we will not get sufficient voltage to put the generator z1 in forward bias during positive half cycle z2 will not conduct so i can say that in this region z1 z2 both of them will be in off state now consider the negative half cycle during negative half cycle this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive the negative terminal will get connected with the inside of z2 p side of z1 the positive terminal will get connected with the inside of z1 p side of z2 that means during negative half cycle input voltage is trying to put z2 in forward bias and z1 in reverse bias now see when input voltage vi will be equal to minus 0 0.8 volt that means if i talk about this portion of the applied voltage when vi will be equal to or less than minus 0 0.8 volt that means i'm talking about this region of applied voltage you will see the z2 will get sufficient voltage to operate in the forward bias region when z2 will be in forward bias we can replace that with constant voltage drop model or a voltage source of 0 0.8 volt in that case you will see it will always maintain a voltage of 0 0.8 volt between these two terminals as in this region this voltage will be fixed z2 and z1 are connected in parallel so i can say that z1 will never turn on or z1 will be in off 
state because it will not get sufficient voltage to operate in the general breakdown region so z1 will be in off state z2 is in forward bias and z1 is in off state in this region now see when vi is greater than 0 0.8 volt minus 0 0.8 volt that means i am talking about this portion of the applied voltage you will see z2 will not get sufficient voltage to operate in forward bias and z1 will always be in off state during negative half cycle so z1 and z2 both of them will be in off state so i can divide the total input voltage into three different region when vi will be greater than 0 0.8 volt then a dot z1 will be in forward bias and z2 is in off state from minus 0 0.8 to plus 0 0.8 both the generator z1 and z2 will be in off state and when vi will be less than minus 0 0.8 z2 will be in forward bias but z1 will be in off state now consider this case when vi is greater than 0.8 volt z1 is in forward bias so we can replace it with its constant voltage drop model z2 is in off state so we can replace it with an open circuit so if i replace the generator z1 and z2 with corresponding equivalent circuit in this region i will get a circuit like this now see here input will be changing sinusoidally in this region this sinusoidal voltage will create sinusoidal current in this linear circuit as our output voltage vo is equal to i r in the circuit as current will be sinusoidal vo will also be sinusoidal okay now see what will be the maximum value of output voltage when vi will be equal to plus 20 volt that means i'm talking about this portion you will see i can apply kvl in this loop if i apply kvl in this loop i will get plus 20 minus 0 0.8 minus vo so you will see vo is vo max this will be equal to 19.2 volt so vo will be sinusoidal with positive maximum plus 20 volt see from this point to this point see from this point to this point vi will be greater than 0.8 volt so output will change sinusoidally with its positive maximum at 19.2 volt now see if i talk about this portion of the applied voltage that means i am talking about input voltage between minus 0. Point plus 0. 0.8 volt to minus 0. 0.8 in that case both the zero z1 and z2 are in off state as a result we can replace both of them with open circuits as this will be an open circuit during this input voltage you will see there will be no current flow or i in the circuit will be equal to zero our output voltage vo is equal to i r l you will see i is equal to zero so output voltage will be equal to zero in this region so so from this point to this point output is zero from this point to this point output is also zero 
from this point to this point output is zero now consider this portion of the applied voltage when vi is less than or equal to minus 0 0.8 volt you will see z2 will be in forward bias so i can replace it with a 0 0.8 volt voltage source and z1 will be in reverse off state so i can replace it with an open circuit so if i replace z1 and z2 with corresponding equivalent circuit in this region i will get a circuit like this here you will see input will change sinusoidally okay the sinusoidal input voltage will create a sinusoidal current in this linear circuit therefore output voltage vo which is equal to irl rl is fixed and it is 1 kilo ohm so vo will also be sinusoidal in this region now see what will be the negative maximum value of input voltage during negative half cycle if i take negative maximum v i equal to minus 20 i can apply kvl in this loop if i apply kvl here you will see i will get minus 20 between this terminal to this terminal plus 0 0.8 minus v o max equal to 0 so negative maximum will be equal to minus 19.2 volt and our output voltage vo will change sinusoidally so from this point to this point output is changing sinusoidally let's say it is the negative maximum point minus 19.2 so this will be our complete output waveform If you draw a neat sketch of the output waveform, you will get an waveform like this. Initially, there will be no current flow. After that, output will be sinusoidal with positive maximum plus 19.2. From this point to this point, there will be no conduction. After that, output will change sinusoidally and it will have negative maximum minus 19.2 volt. From this point to this point, output voltage will be zero. So I will get an waveform like this. That's it. Thank you.